Hi, this is Marek from Tripsolo. Today I'd like to tell you more about the game called Leaf. It's a game published by Weird City Games and thanks for sending it for review. And this is like a puzzle abstract game where you will create a beautiful pattern of leaves, attract different animals, grow mushrooms in the forest. So it's like a peaceful, calm, relaxing game, a perfect uh, autumn game. Uh, it's a game for one to four players. It can be played solo. There is an AI. So you don't only score to uh, play to beat your own score, but you play against uh, Automa. So it's really cool. Now I will show you how to play this game and then I will tell you what I think about it. This is leaf prepared for play. Here we have the leaf mat. We have six different types of uh, leaves. Uh, each leaf, leaf comes in five uh, different colors. So we have five colors and six shapes. Uh, during the game, you will take the leaves and you will add it to the uh, play area and create a forest full of leaves. Here is the animal mat. Uh, you have five animal cards on this mat. During the game, you will collect the animals. You will try to collect sets. There is this big deck of uh, different animal cards. Uh, if you manage to collect uh, sets of cards, a specific uh, point of the game, uh, you will move uh, sets of animals to your winter den below your uh, player mat and you will score points for them at the end of the game. Uh, here is the season track and the season tracker. This season tracker will be moved forward by players. Uh, each player during his or her turn can spend free sun tokens to move this season tracker to the right. If you move it, you will get a victory points. But also, if this tracker moves to the right area here, the winter area, the game will end. And then you will calculate your points. If this tracker moves to the right side, the game will end. But also if uh, three stacks of leaves will be depleted. So what, whichever uh, condition comes first, it will trigger the end of the game. Apart from the animals, there is this deck of leaf cards. Each player starts with three of these cards and you, in your uh, turn, you will spend uh, the leaf cards to grab leaves from this mat and to add them to the play area. There is also this huge cardboard tree. Uh, each player gets this animal token and uh, by performing specific action, you will be able to move this animal from the bottom to the top of the tree and you will get different bonuses depending on when, where the animal uh, have moved. Mm. This is the starting area with two starting leaves. They are placed like this. And during the game, you will add leaves to the two starting one on the table. Each player gets this player, <laughs> you can say board, this player small board. Here we have turn overview. Here we have all the leaf action that you will be able to take in the game. Uh, below is the winter den, where you will put uh, the sets of animals to score uh, at the end of the game. Also, each player got, has got uh, this uh, mushroom tokens. Uh, they are double-sided. Here is the baby mushroom. Here is the adult mushroom. Adult mushrooms will score, uh, also will score at the end of the game. So at the end of the game, you will score for uh, animal sets. You will score for mushrooms. You will also score for position on this, on this uh, tree board. Uh, the player who has got this animal the highest will get six victory points. Uh, and the um, second highest gains three victory points. So victory points for the tree, for animals and for the mushrooms. So how do you play this game? You start the game with three um, leaf cards. In your turn, you have to discard one of these cards. Uh, then you will have to take the corresponding leaf from one of these stacks. And you will have to add this leaf to the leaves that are already present on the table. So for example, let's say that I will uh, use this card. I will discard it. I will have to take the corresponding leaf and I have to add it to the play area. Each leaf has got different tips. One, two, three, four, for example. Other leaves, they have different shapes and different number of tips. 
and if you add a leaf to the play area you have connect you have to connect at least two tips of this new leaf with leaves that are already present on the table so i could put it like here for example so this tip connects here this tip connects here and this one here after you place a leaf if you had a second card with the same leaf in your hand you could also discard it to place a baby mushroom on the new leaf that you added to the table after you place a leaf you will perform actions the actions you can perform depend on the tips that are connected with this new leaf so the color of the new leaf doesn't matter but it matters to which color tips you connected this uh, new leaf so if i put it like this i have green green orange and orange so i will perform four actions two orange actions and two green actions if there would be for example another leaf i don't know like this i would also perform one red action so the more tips of this new leaf connect with the leaves already present on the table uh, the more actions you will be able to perform and what actions you can do if you connected the leaf uh, to a green tip you can draw one leaf card from the deck uh, orange tip gain one animal card uh, brown tip you can move your uh, squirrel one spot up on this tree and receive the uh, proper uh, the corresponding bonds yellow tip you will gain one sun token and if you have three sun tokens once in your turn you can discard them to progress this season tracker and the red tip means that you can grow a mushroom you can either place a baby mushroom on one of the leaves in the forest you cannot have more mushrooms more than one mushroom on one leaf or if you already have a mushroom on the on a leaf somewhere you can grow it to the adult uh, side so there are five actions five different actions and the more tips uh, of your new leaf are connected to the leaves already on the table the more actions you will be able to perform uh, before you connect before you place the leaf you have to think what type of actions you want to perform you can uh, if you have if you're out of leaves in your hand maybe you want to uh, connect this leaf to green tips to get uh, leaves or maybe you want to get animal cards it's all up to you some of the animal cards they have this acorn symbol if you take one of these cards you will also get acorn uh, token and acorns are basically victory points in the game let's say if during the game we manage to gather some cards let's say i have uh, three hedgehogs I managed to collect three hedgehog, hedgehogs. Uh, if this uh, season tracker moves over the frost uh, spot here, each player takes one type of uh, selects one type of animals from the one that he or she has got uh, has collected during the game, and places all the cards of the chosen animal in the winter den below the player board. And this set of cards will uh, score at the end of the game. In future frost, uh, uh, frost actions, you can add new animal cards or you can add the same type of animals to the set already uh, present in your winter den. It's all up to you. And if it goes here or three uh, leaves, uh, stacks of leaves are depleted, the game ends and you will gain points. As I said, you will gain points for the position on this uh, tree board. The highest player gets six points. The second highest get three points. You will gain points for uh, animals. Uh, the other side of this player board uh, gives you the, all the scoring information. For one animal in the set, you get one acorn. For two, three. For three animals, six. And four and more, plus one acorn for each additional animal. You will also score for mushrooms. If you have mushrooms uh, in the adult form, not the baby form, in the adult form on the on leaves, 
and the leaves are adjacent to each other, uh, you will gain, get one acorn for one mushroom, three acorns for two, and if, for example, you have three mushrooms on three adjacent leaves, you will get eight acorns. You will also collect acorns during the game for, for climbing the tree, for example, for taking animal cards. Then you will sum everything and this will be your score. Also, if you have sun tokens or leaf tokens at the end of the game, you can exchange them one acorn for each two. The player with most acorns wins uh, the whole uh, game. If you play solo, you will play against the AI. AI uh, is using also uh, mushrooms. AI will try to collect sets of animals. We we'll place mushroom on cards. We will climb the tree as well. There is the special deck of cards. And on AI turn, you reveal the top card. It will tell you which type of leaf uh, the AI would like to add to the play area. You have to take this leaf and it shows you which type of action it will prefer to perform. So if you take this leaf, you will try to connect it to as many tips with this red action on the play area as you can. There is also this bottom section. Um, if the AI takes, for example, animal card, it takes them when the arrow is like this, it takes them from the right bottom, or for example, it can take animals from uh, top left. It will also show you uh, where it will go on the tree when there are intersections. Uh, and the game ends in the same way. If we are in the winter, the game ends, or if three stacks of leaves are depleted, and then you will calculate your points. The AI doesn't use the leaf cards, and the actions the AI, AI performs work a little different. In the rulebook, you have this uh, information. How the yellow, green, red, orange, and brown actions work for the AI, they work a little different, but very similar to your actions. And this is how you play Leaf. Leaf is a really, really cool game. First of all, it's a beautiful game. It looks amazing. All the leaves uh, and uh, components, they are beautiful. Uh, another thing is that this game doesn't use uh, plastic at all. You have small cardboard boxes for all the components. So no zip bags, no plastic insert. Everything is made from like paper and cardboard. Really, no zero plastic. The, the whole game wasn't even in foil. It was like uh, it had a small stickers here. So really, it's a, a you know environment uh, eco-friendly game, and it matches with the theme, the theme of uh, forest, of animals, of uh, nature. Uh, it's really really cool, and also it's very like practical because you have a small box for all the components. Each player has got a small box with the mushroom and and the squirrel. So it's really really cool. Uh, and as the gameplay as for the gameplay, I really like the gameplay mostly because. All players create uh, one pattern of uh, leaves. So it's not like in a lot of abstract puzzle games that each player has got uh, his or her own board and they are playing like a you know, multiplayer solitaire game. Uh, there is maybe a common market of cards or tokens or something, but each player has got a separate board and does it interact with other players. Here you construct one huge, you can say forest or the, the leaf area so it adds a lot of strategy because uh, sometimes you are not sure where to place your leaf because if you place your leaf in a specific spot the other player may get some uh, sun tokens and then it will speed up the end of the game so it adds a lot of strategy to the game and fun uh, it reminds me of um, of the game called power plant it's on my shelf as well in power plants it was similar but all players they created the same common garden and they added tiles to the, the common garden and it's also similar with power plants because in power plants uh, you you can you could use action of all the tiles adjacent to the one that you added and here it's really important uh, which tips connect to the leaf that you added because uh, they dictate which type of action you can take. It's really, really cool. And sometimes when you place a leaf 
in a very clever way and you can perform five or six different actions is very satisfying. Uh, the game is easy with rules. I mean, it's not the easiest one, the easiest abstract game I've played because it's not like take a tile, add a tile to your, I don't know, to a board and, and uh, that's it. Because you have five different actions and you have the animals, you have different sets and you have mushrooms. The mushrooms can be, you have, you have baby mushrooms and adult mushrooms. You have this tree where you climb up and unlock different bonuses. So there are a lot of, you know, small things connected together. But overall, it's not a very complicated game, but the gameplay is engaging. It requires a lot of thinking. The game is thinky and fun and to be honest, I don't find any cons of this game because it plays really, really well. And if you like abstract games and if you like like nature theme of games in games, uh, Leaf is uh, like a perfect game for you. Uh, I like the solo game because you play against Automa. You don't have a beat your own score type of solo mode uh, because Automa uses deck of cards and Automa also adds uh, leaves to the play area. Uh, it will place mushrooms, it will take uh, animals from the market, it will uh, move the uh, season tracker uh, forward, uh, triggering at the end of the game even. So it's really, really cool. So I really recommend Leaf to you. It's a beautiful game, plays really well, it's not too long. Uh, the game has a lot of player interaction, so maybe if you like uh, multiplayer solitaire abstract games, where you can in silence <laughs> create your own, you know, thing on your own personal board. Uh, you may not like Leaf because in this game all players add Leaf to the common, uh, to the shared area. But if you like player interaction in games, uh, it will be perfect. So this game gets my <laughs> recommendation for sure. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, click the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, I would be more than happy. You can visit me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. I will leave links in the description of this video. Uh, also, what you have seen in this video is a retail, retail edition of this game because the game was funded on Kickstarter and the Kickstarter edition has got some fancy wooden tiles. This is the retail basic edition and even the basic edition looks amazing. Uh, again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.